today we're going to be finishing up the Starboard series by adding an air handler, a really small one, and just making our embed look a bit better. So, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so here I am in my Visual Studio Code, and um, first what we're going to do is we're going to create an air handler. It's going to be really simple, right? Um, it's just going to be a bot.event. And I'm actually going to, I like to create the air handle all the way at the bottom, even though it's an event, just, it's just personal preference, you can put anywhere you want. But this is just going to be really simple, on command underscore error, and we're just going to pass in ctx and error. Okay, so after we pass those two values in, make sure you add that. Then what we want to do is, we just want to, I'm not actually going to go that much into, in depth into this air handler, um, because, well, this will only be able to return one error as long as the code is proper and so I don't think we need to make a specific one for each error code because there's really only going to be one which is dot 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 channel is not defined and that we can actually do really simply instead of having to you know have an if statement we could just print out the error and you'll see what that what I do with that it's a lot easier and I'll demonstrate it later but now we can do await ctx.send, embed equals em, and and then here we can also do delete after, and however many seconds you want it to delete after. So I'm going to do 90, just so it doesn't like flood the channel. And lastly, I'm going to return it. If you, you don't have to do this, this is just optional. It really doesn't matter. If you do have multiple values in here, though, you probably would want to return it so you don't trigger multiple at the same time. But now with that out of the way, what we can do is we can change this code up here and we're just going to alter a couple of things in the i guess over here and all it is is we're going to add attachment support so let's say somebody uploads an image and what we want to do is that image is an attachment and we want to also display and say that image gets to the starboard we want to display that image as well and so the way we're going to do this is we're going to use a try uh, an accept statement so we're going to try embed dot set underscore image and here we're just gonna have URL message dot attachments zero because it's gonna return as a list so we want the first attachment dot URL and then say that doesn't work and it returns an error we can just accept and pass because it really doesn't matter say if it doesn't have an attachment then we're just gonna do that and my indentation is a bit off so I don't know why it's like that. Okay, I fixed it. <laughs> so now that we have that, what we can do is one last thing. We want to add a way to get to the message really quickly and a bit more info about who actually posted the message. So the way we can do that is using embed.setAuthor and dot set footer. So we can do set author and the author is going to be displayed above the embed. We're just going to do something like name equals and this is going to be message link and the URL, we can add a URL to that. So if we click the message link, then we could take this to the message itself. So message dot jump underscore URL. And then we can also have an icon underscore URL, so the icon of the author. And so for here, what we can do is we just want to add the whoever, I guess, posted the message, their avatar URL, something like that. I'm using discord.py and like beta version 2, so I'm going to use avatar.url. If you're using Nextcore or a fork, then you're also going to use that. But if you're using 1.7.3, then you're going to use avatar underscore URL just because I've seen a couple people have an error with that. And then we're going to also do embed.set underscore footer. And this is going to be text. And the text over here is going to be message ID equals, I guess, message.id. And we're also going to do mess author. So something like, yeah, we can just do author equals message.author.name. And that's it. We're just going to return that. So now what we can do is we can actually run this code. And we can hop into Discord. So now here's my Discord, and if I were to do help, you'll see that it shows up. Now let's test out the air handler. So if I do setup and channel, but don't pass in a channel, you'll see that the air handle kicks in. And it says channel is a required argument that is missing. So and if I were to do something like setup 
channel and I'll pass in the proper channel then bam that works perfectly and that's already the current channel for our starboard but now ooh, swasta py swastik uh, dm me but now I could say something like hey you should star this yes and then if I were to star it you'll see that it actually adds itself to the starboard and it will be a bit different here's our actual message and then here's the message link so if I click it it will jump right to here uh, my I guess logo and then the message ID which will line up if I do this it lines up and the author and boom that's basically it and you also see it doesn't post uh, attachment because that message does not have an attachment to post that's why we added the try and accept statement so we don't get an error anyways that's gonna be it for today's video I really hope you enjoyed until next time close to the gal see ya